Hi everyone. So welcome to this video. Many students are asking about the TCS NQT 20th November exam analysis. So here is the ex uh, exam analysis for TCS NQT 20th November exam. Okay. So I am doing the exam analysis for today's exam. Okay. And let's start. So first of all, talking about today's exam for 20th November. First of all, as we all know, there are total three sections in the foundation. First one is quant. Second one is reasoning. And third one is English. Okay. So, starting with the quant, see, I'll just point out some things in the quant. What I have noticed and what kind of response which I, uh, which I have uh, got from the students. The thing is, in quant, it was little bit better, little bit better, the quant which got asked on 12th, 13th and on 14th, okay. And 3 to 4 questions were like uh, of the level which are doable. So, the response which I got from the student based on that, what I am thinking is, for today, the cutoff can be increased by one or two numbers for today's today's exam, okay? Because also it's a late shift and many candidates actually prepare with the inputs of the previous shift. So I am assuming for this shift, the cutoff can be seven to eight plus, okay? And if you have done eight plus, I think it would be a good score in numerical, okay? In numerical, um, this will this will be my cutoff for this uh, this season uh, for this uh, date because actually for the previous date I have uh, told like six to eight but today I am telling eight plus or eight only reason I have told you first of all it's a late shift second thing is to, for today's exam in the quant section three to four questions were manageable to do okay so uh, and the response which I got from the students many candidates are able to do eight plus questions or eight questions so I am hoping the cutoff can be eight plus for this one for reasoning again the reasoning was easy part okay some questions are little bit lengthy but again it was an easy part again the same cutoff which I told previously also I think 12, uh, 12 plus would be a good score in reasoning. It was an easy section and many candidates are able to like do the this section for verbal. Again, the paragraph part was very, very lengthy. Okay, para part was again very lengthy. Okay, and still uh, seeing the difficulty, it was again a kind of uh, easy, medium difficulty uh, type of section. So uh, the response which I got, it can be 12 to 14 plus for today. Okay, so 12 to 14 plus for today. Okay. Coming to the advance, okay, so in the advanced section, see, in the advanced section, uh, again for uh, advanced aptitude and logical, okay, it was again same as the previous uh, days only. So again, I am saying like 8 plus could be a good score, okay, 8 plus could be a good score. There are, uh, in today's actually session, many questions uh, are from type, uh, type in the box type, okay, type in the box type. So, okay, there are so many database questions uh, again, okay, and talking about the coding question, the first one, which was and operator based, okay, and operator based, it was a little bit confusing question and a hard question, okay, the response which I got from the many candidates, many candidates only passed like two cases, okay, uh, only one response I got from the student, he said like I passed three cases, okay, so more, from the most of the candidates, I got the response as they passed the two cases or one candidate said the three cases, so again, it was a little I am little spectacular about it and the again question that NVP that uh, n grouping problem okay n grouping problem for that some students said they passed four cases okay so uh, combining all the inputs which I uh, got from the students what I can say is see for coding uh, including the public and private cases is okay I am also including the public cases okay so if we consider the 14 test cases test cases okay including the public test cases what I am hoping is like five to six plus cases if you have passed okay five to six uh, plus cases combining both the question if you have passed there is a chances of digital okay and it is also important you have performed good in the advanced section okay in advanced section you have performed good okay also, uh, your qualifying score met the necessary criteria. For prime, I am thinking uh, based on the today's analysis, maybe um, it will be, uh, it can be 8 plus. Okay, it, 8 plus, but the condition is there should be some private cases, some private cases passed in both, passed in both. Okay, for an example, suppose um, you, pa uh, you passed like, uh, five test cases 
in first one okay and suppose you passed three cases in second one okay this could be a one score for the tcs prime but see if you only done like one question and you pass some case for the other question you have not passed any case i don't think they will be getting the prime interview this time for this one for this shift okay so i am not saying you need to complete all the two questions okay that's not true because today's question again was very very like a spectacle about it like uh, how many candidates will be solving it but uh, from my thought i think uh, like considering first question and second question if you have passed like four four cases or combining eight cases okay including private and public eight plus cases like eight nine ten if you have done i think it would be a good score to get the prime call okay but the condition is again that that you have passed some private cases also in the uh, both questions okay so this will be my score and today's analysis again the exam was little bit same like previous one only for the quant the, the score can increase for the coding question also i have told about the separate analysis okay thank you so much for watching you can comment down how many questions you have solved thank you so much